let's go through the topic of Granger causality test in this video. So suppose we still have our regular regression, sales based on the lagged values of sales. So sales in the previous video, oh sorry, sales in the previous period affecting sales in the current period. Now, what if we would like to see if another variable in the previous period is affecting our sales in the current period? And let's be practical and give an intuitive example. Suppose that if we take into account the inventory level of our clothes, because we are a fashion store, remember? The inventory level of our clothes in the previous period, what would be the effect on sales in the current period? So let's say we want, we want to see what would be the effect of inventory levels of clothes in year 2015 affecting, affecting the sales in 2016. Well, if we have inventory, if we have in the stock clothes that we did not sell in 2015, what we could do is offer the clothes on sale, on discount. So offer, offer discount, offer discount in 2016 and get rid of that inventory. So sell the clothes that we did not sell. So that would increase the sales in 2016. Offer a discount in 2016 and therefore sales in 2000, 2016 would go up sales in 2016 would go up. So we want to see if that effect would be consistent across time. Can we say that inventory in the previous period affects our dependent variable, the sales in the current period? And the, the value of the previous period, the, the value of the inventory of the previous period would be a Granger causal variable for the sales. So this is an independent variable, which is not the lagged, the lagged value of the dependent variable. It is not the lagged value of sales, but is the lagged value of an independent variable of a, of a different variable altogether, which would be inventory that affects sales. So how do we do that? We would run a new regression by taking this effect into account. So we would have now, we would have the following regression. We would have sales across time equals to a specific constant A plus B times sales from the lagged uh, period, from the previous period, so T minus one plus, and now with C, we're going to have the coefficient, the effect of inventory in the previous period. So that would be inventory in the previous period. And of course, we would have our, we would have our unexplained variation in results, something that we cannot, we, we cannot observe. Now, the idea is that now we also added one more variable to the model. And as usual, when we add more variables to the model, our R square tends to increase. So we want to know if the increase in R square is going to be significant or not. So we're going to test the increase in R square, whether that is significant or not. And we know that to test an increase in R square, we're just going to do an F test on R square. We'll have our F test where we take the difference of R square of the full model. In our case, the full model has these three variables. So one, actually two, I'm sorry, these two independent variables, that's going to be the R square of the full model, which is going to be larger minus the R square of the restricted model divided by the number of additional variables. So how many added variables do we have in the full model? Well, relative to the restricted one, we're adding the effect of inventory in the previous period. So we have one additional variable. So divided by one over one minus R square of the full model divided by the number of observations. And if we recall from the previous videos, we had 16 observations in our data set minus the number of parameters in the full model, which is the number of explanatory variables of independent variables in the model, which is one and two. These are the explanatory variables. So minus two minus one, and that would give us our F value. And as usual, we would compare our F value with the F critical value which is going to be one degrees of freedom in the numerator. And here we have 16 minus two minus one, that's 14 minus one, which is 13 degrees in the denominator. And now if we compare the two and we assume that the F value is greater than the critical value, for instance, we would say that we would reject the null hypothesis and what would be the actual conclusion that we give? So reject the null hypothesis. Well, first of all, that means that adding the inventory in the previous period improves the model, improves the R square significantly, which means that the inventory in the previous period, inventory in the previous period, the lagged value of inventory is Granger causal, Granger causal on sales, on sales. That would be the test that we are doing. This is the conclusion that we would give. So it's not actual causal, it's not a direct causality on sales, but it is Granger causal, meaning that the inventory would lead to sale to an increase in sales 
in the next period by this mechanism that we said it would be it would be uh, we would offer a discount in the next period and therefore our sales would increase as well and that's it hope this makes sense and we are done